Donald Trump planning to formally unveil his child care plan tonight with his daughter Ivanka. Some of his proposals include tax deductions for working parents, the same deductions for at-home parents, incentives for employers to provide child care and guaranteed maternity leave. Here now is Sabrina Schaefer of the Independent Women's Forum, Marianne Marsh, Dewey Square Group Principal. Thanks to both of you for joining us. Sabrina, let me start with you. You know, anytime we look at programs like this, the first criticism is always, how are you going to pay for it? Do you think right. he addresses that at all? I mean, they talk about it being tax neutral, revenue neutral. I mean, it's, it's one of those things that's tough to quantify ahead of time because you say, oh, the economy is going to grow as a result or more people will be working. What do you think about that in this case? Right, of course, the devil's always in the details, but I do think that this is a step in the right direction. I think it's good that the Republican Party is not ceding this issue that is really a, a bipartisan issue to Democrats. I think it's great that Donald Trump has started to start open up the conversation. I think that there's some good and some not so good in this plan. I like the idea of giving individual families more control over their own resources so they can make decisions that suit their family's needs, whether it's a daycare facility or a family friend or a relative or a stay-at-home parent. All of this is very good. We don't want to be biasing people's decisions based on public policy. So I think it's a, a definite step in the right direction. Yeah. Marianne, uh, you know, it tries to get you over that hurdle when you're looking at going to work and you go, well, wait, okay, so it's gonna, I'm going to make this, but then I'm going to pay this in taxes, so I'm really only making this, and then I'm also paying someone to look after my child, so your salary has to be so high in order for it to pay to go back to work. Is it interesting that Republicans are addressing this? Well, well they have to. And, and let me explain why in this election with Donald Trump right now. Historically, suburban women, especially college-educated white women, have voted for Republicans all along. Right. Donald Trump does not have them right now. And that's why he's going to the Philadelphia suburbs tonight with his daughter, Ivanka Trump, to talk about daycare. He needs to win them back. If he doesn't, he has no shot at winning the White House. And that's also why President Obama was in Philadelphia today. Right. So it's not just about Pennsylvania. It's about this demographic. So I think the Republicans know they have to do this. They don't have a choice but to do this. They have not explained how they're going to pay for it, except for the fact Donald Trump says he's going to find fraud, but that fraud alone won't pay for this program versus Hillary Clinton, who's giving 12 weeks versus Donald Trump six weeks. She's capping it at 10% right. of income. She hasn't said how she's going to he, pay either. Okay. Yeah, yeah, actually, I mean, she, has, she has. She has, actually. It, and that's always one of those things nobody ever likes to talk about. She's no, going to make Donald Trump, Trump and, and she's going to no have to pay Hang for on one second. But, you know, Sabrina, also, Sabrina let, let me ask you, though. I mean, it's interesting because, in a way, it puts a lot of value on working parents. Do you right. potentially alienate women who have chosen to stay home and see that as a value? And then here you have the Republican on the right saying we want to make it easier for women to get out of the house and go to work. Right. Well, I think that's why the Trump campaign has said that this tax deduction could be applied to parents who stay at home or to a, a relative um, who maybe is caring for that family so that you're not biasing um, families that have two parent you know, workers rather than just one. Mm -hmm. um, but at the same time, I think something to keep in mind, and I, this is where I think Donald Trump will really need to, to think about his messaging and his tone, is that, you know, I was just at the Pew Research Center today, and an important statistic is this one that only 23 percent of working mothers would choose to work full time if they had that choice. And I think it's really important that Republicans keep that in mind when they're thinking about this, this suite of workplace policies. Yeah. A lot of women, you know, this is not an intellectual itch. They have bills to pay, and that's something very important for Washington to remember. Absolutely. All right. Thanks to both of you.